creating a backing band, Augsburg College students learn Somali music, Rommel Rose. In March 2017, five Augsburg College jazz ensemble students came together with one goal, become a backing band for Somali singer Rama Rose in two and a half weeks. My name is Cleo Knickerbocker and I'm a junior at Augsburg College. Our old band director, Bob Stack, he plays with Somali artists and I used to rehearse with my band here late Sunday nights and I remember being in the hallway and hearing a Somali band rehearsing and so I stepped in and I was listening to the artists and I thought it was really cool. It was like a combination of reggae, Bollywood, so many different styles. My name is Matthew Zyla and I am a sophomore here at Augsburg. The opportunity to play with the Rama came through my music business professor. He introduced the idea to our jazz quintet and we were pretty gung-ho to do it, just to try something outside of playing, you know, just jazz standards, which it certainly is very different. I was really excited for it, but I was also nervous. We worked previous semester um, with the Somali hip hop group and uh, it was certainly challenging and daunting, just the difference between Somali music and what is more traditionally Western music. When I heard Somali music for the first time, it felt more or less familiar, but then also there was the aspect that was totally new for me. You kind of have to change how you play a little bit, how uh, you set up, you know, just a groove for people to, uh, to dance to, really. It's not, you know, just four bars, 16 bars. It's not very Western at all, which is a really tough challenge. You don't realize how ingrained you are uh, and playing Western music until you're just thrown into the deep end of another type of music and you left to try to swim, which is, I think I'm doing a decent job. <laughs> we'll see though. The band's first show, a concert at the Cedar Cultural Center in Minneapolis, opening for legendary Somali singer, Nemo Yassin. I'm very much so a jazz musician. Um, and so just kind of getting out side of that and playing just a different genre is hugely beneficial. Uh, before they start, um, actually, I would like to uh, thank the students because they've been practicing for two weeks now. And I went there the first day that they were rehearsing, and I was like, ooh, I don't know if they get it. <laughs> and then I didn't see them for a really long time. And I went back last night, and I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. Uh, so they're really amazing, really talented, and we are going to continue making sure that we always engage students and make sure that they're a part of our program. We've been playing as an ensemble for about two years. This is probably the most outside our comfort zone thing. Yeah, we usually just, you know, play jazz standards and play at, you know, award dinners and stuff for, you know, wallpaper music. Make a little bit of money on the side. This is, this is probably the most adventurous thing we've done. It's cool. It's going to make us a lot better in the end. The theater was packed with people and there were cameras and lights all over your face and it was, it was a lot more than I'm used to. But I had a lot of friends, since we're so close to Augsburg, they just walked right over and it was nice to see them out in the crowd and then they were really impressed and they were just kind of wowed at the magnitude of the theater concert, the fact that it was being streamed to refugee camps around the world. I didn't know that was happening until like it was five minutes to stage time. Every experience you get as a musician is very valuable. Um, and it's being a musician, studying it in school is kind of oxymoronic in the sense where you really need to experience the music industry and performance to really grow as a musician. My favorite part of the Minneapolis show was how interactive the audience was with the music. You know, a lot of the, the audience members like either knew the lyrics or like, you know, they're really excited. You know, the energy was awesome. And that's such a huge part about performing is the kind of response you get from your environment. So it was really cool just to experience that community.
I feel like if I came back and did this again, I'd feel a lot more comfortable doing it now that I've had the experience. When I was going in, I was kind of worried about, oh, as a jazz musician, how am I going to adopt to playing in a Somali style or East African style? Um, and she's been really awesome at giving us positive feedback in like areas where we're just kind of missing a beat just because it feels weird to us, but then as we play it, it gets more um, comfortable. Working with the Nemo program is probably kind of the highlight so far of my college career. I'm not the one to you know, march out college mission statements for you, but I think it really fits with what Augsburg talks about. They talk about you know, social equality and stuff, so I think this is right within the vein of what Augsburg wants to be doing. And it makes sense why we're partnered with the Cedar and all that. And I hope I can do it again, maybe sometime next year.